Okay, going to be doing an overview of this new Hillmore 4 valve aluminum manifold. This is the R22407C and R410A temperature reading gauge. Has a nice uh, built in sight glass. Feels had some good weight to it. It's about three and a half pounds. I weighed it. What I like about this set is it has this, a pressure reminder, like if you're doing a nitrogen pressure test, that you could set your pointer to the the needle on the gauge so you could reference it later so you know if there's a pressure drop or a pressure rise if you have a leak or whatnot in the system just in case you don't have a good memory so you could reference it later same thing on this side as well I do like the front storage areas for the hose easy access most uh, gauges analog gauges are in the rear um, it has a true 3 8 bore through the fourth uh, valve here the valves have a nice rubber grip, and it has a nice. Uh, they have rubber boots on the on the gauges here. They're just uh, not really covered so much in the rear. They got little. They have a little lip in the rear, but the back uh, of the gauges are plastic. It's a nice big three and one eighths uh, display. The screen also glows in the dark with any type of light. You can charge it up, flashlight, sunlight. And if you need to go in a dark area, it'll glow for a while. That's kind of a cool feature. And I bought this set on the internet, uh, mostly because the suppliers near me don't really have a big selection of Hillmar tools, and they would probably have to special order something like this. And I found a good website, uh, K Tool Connection, I believe it is. Uh, they had it out the door with shipping, free shipping, 114 bucks, where most other places want 149 bucks for this. I bought the uh, digital thermometers uh, with two uh, clamps. What that does is it clamps in the center here. Take your superheat and some cool reading. So it's kind of like a hybrid uh, analog digital setup. I'm not quite ready to go digital yet. I feel like the marketplace is still changing and there's still new models and uh, improvements that need to be made I think before I jump in and this is this was about 110 bucks on Amazon so this is not quite cheap either but it's it's a nice tool they actually sell the whole kit where you get you know the whole manifold kit the hoses this and it's like 400 bucks um, so it's actually cheaper to do your own setup because I feel like their their hoses are kind of overpriced for what they are and I bought a set of um, yellow jacket seal bright hoses Low loss fittings. I kind of like the low loss fittings. I may go back to the the valve hoses, maybe if I don't like these. But so far, I mostly like using the low loss uh, hoses, so I don't you know freeze my fingers with the the freon bursting out. And I also bought this Hillmore uh, manifold cover. It has a little padding into it. I don't really want to scratch up the screen because uh, I have to throw it in my toolbox. So try to keep it semi and decent condition so I'm gonna go ahead and put it all together and show you what it looks like but I just need to get a 3 8 hose for this because this uh, set didn't come with one and it's a really nice setup it has uh, supposedly the, the valve seats are stainless steel with uh, SAE o-rings on them and supposedly this manifold set has a lifetime guarantee however since I bought mine on the internet it might be a little harder to get it warranted. but I really don't care that much I mean it's only it's only an analog gauge set so if I was buying something more expensive like a digital I probably would buy it in store but we'll see how this goes we'll see we'll see how long it lasts I'll update if it gauge sucks or whatever but uh, I like I like the I like the whole idea of it how it's a dual uh, temperature display. I mean, you still have to do the manual calculation. Super heats up cool. I mean, yeah, it's not the the best. It's nice having the digital where it's everything's on the screen looking at you. The the manifold does the calculation uh, for the super heat and sub cool readings for you. And the uh, backlit display uh, stays on for about thirty seconds. And I'm not sure how long the display if it's auto power off. Hopefully that turns off after whatever 10 minutes or so to the display. And on the front here you got your ports here to calibrate your gauge. Anyway I think this is going to be a really nice setup. Well, well thought out product I think and I'm going to try it out. I think I'm going to like it.